Lubrication needs to be supported through a healthy diet to prevent cartilage wear. Um, now that people live longer lives, over 50% of the population will at one point suffer from debilitating joint breakdown, resulting in pain um, due to cartilage wear and often resulting in surgery. Unfortunately, damaged cartilage has very little capacity for self-healing, primarily due to the low amounts of chondrocytes, these cells um, that lead to cartilage uh, component production including collagen. Um, therefore, it is very important to lubricate, to support the lubrication joint cartilage repair. Now, cartilage metabolism and lubrication can be improved through diet and supplements just as weight management and active lifestyles are critical uh, for joint health. So weight loss, maintaining a healthy weight and an active lifestyle are also crucial, but so is diet and supplements. Um, but before we get into the recommendations, let's get to the basics and understand what joints are and what keeps them healthy. So a joint is basically a connection between two distinct bones that allows for movement like bending the knees and elbows, bending the head back and forth and to the sides, moving your fingers and so on. It would be very wise to care for optimum joint health as this is critical to proper bodily functioning and it's critical in order to prevent pain in later life. Um, the things that negatively affect joints are aging, injuries, being overweight, regularly carrying too much weight on you, and inflammation, especially an inflammatory promoting diet. Many of these things can cause uh, damage to your joints and lead to arthritis. Weaker joints cannot be avoided when you're old, but there are plenty of ways to preserve healthy joints um, for as long as possible. And these include ensuring that you're fit and healthy, eating uh, healthily, and taking the right supplements. So let's talk about a uh, healthy diet and supplements for joint health. There are many foods and specific nutrients that can help you keep your joints healthy. Since decreasing the level of inflammatory uh, mediators will slow down cartilage degradation, anti-inflammatory foods consumed regularly are very, very supportive. The research shows that some foods are especially beneficial uh, for joint health and these include number one olive oil it's found to uh, have very positive effects on the entire joint reducing inflammation and increasing um, joint uh, lubrication and the lubricant that lubricates the joints its production also olive leaf extract has cartilage protective effects effects at um, um, at a dose of 500 to 1000 milligrams um, to be taken four times a week olive leaf extract intake maintains lubrication of joints and inhibits cartilage um, destruction I recommend taking this especially if you're doing a lot of sports or if you are sensitive to joint um, to joint pain also curcumin is an anti-inflammatory compound found in turmeric. Um, it delays the start of the pathological cartilage breakdown that happens naturally through aging. Uh, curcumin also improves um, physical function and quality of life when taken regularly. Curcumin is shown to help prevent the death of chondrocytes, the cells that are responsible for cartilage formation, and it suppresses the release of inflammatory mediators, uh, preventing inflammation in chondrocytes. Also, quercetin is very beneficial in supporting cartilage health. Quercetin is naturally occurring flavonoid with potent anti-inflammatory and antioxidant activity. However, for joint health, it is especially vital due to the fact that quercetin suppresses the expression of matrix degrading enzymes and inflammatory mediators and quercetin promotes the production of cartilage forming factors. Quercetin has antioxidant effects that decrease also free radical damage. Onions, kale, all types of onions, kale um, and berries are rich in quercetin and you may also take quercetin as a supplement twice weekly to ensure you get sufficient um, levels of this nutrient. Um, it often comes with vitamin C together which is just great because vitamin C helps um, in the production of collagen. Also berries are a rich source of several phytochemicals. They are antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. Blueberries, raspberries, strawberries rich in polyphenols and even also have um, quercetin, as I mentioned. Studies show the health-promoting effects of berries um, are connected with uh, joint health. So it would be best to add them regularly to your uh, diet, to your lifestyle through shakes in the morning or to be taken as a supplement as well. 
um, due to their very potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Also, pomegran pomegranates, um, classified as berry fruits, have been shown to have uh, also potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects. And you can um, um, have fresh pomegranates for very cheap during their season, which is now soon at the end of summer and during autumn. They are very potent medicine to prevent any inflammatory diseases. Also omega-3 fatty acids, um, known for their many health benefits. Um, this is also true for joint health. Omega-3 fatty acids are required for multiple cellular functions related to joints, including cell membrane fluidity and the structural maintenance of cells. Um, Omega-3 fatty acids also regulate inflammation and um, they help uh, prevent inflammatory conditions that harm the joints. They have um, antioxidant activity um, that provides many health benefits also for performance improvements to those people who are um, athletes. Uh, as they also reduce free radical production during exercise. Omega-3 fatty acids have been shown to reduce the number of swollen and tender joints and prevent inflammation in joints. Also, they help prevent severe pain um, that comes usually from inflammation and uh, disability. Um, Omega-3 fatty acids promote joint health um, and they can be found in uh, foods such as walnuts, tofu, Brussels sprouts, sea vegetables, and chia and flax seeds. You may also supplement with a plant-based uh, plant uh, omega-3 supplement regularly. Um, especially after the age of 45, or if you exercise even sooner, three to five times a week to support your joint health. Also, protein, an essential part of any diet, um, promotes joint health. However, research shows that cartilage and bone growth deteriorate when there are either too low levels of um, protein or too high levels of protein. Therefore, you want to manage your protein intake, um, and uh, it, which should ideally be determined by a person's weight their gender and their age and you can see my video on um, on this um, I'll have a link um, in the description of this video below um, the foods that are health um, supporting and rich in protein include all legumes which are beans lentils and peas non genetically modified soya beans and nuts also vitamin D is crucial um, for health um, for healthy joints um, they are also vital for muscle and bone um, health and as well um, uh, joint health because um, of their capacity to influence um, pro-inflammatory um, environments. Now, in clinical trials, vitamin D deficiency poses a risk for arthritis and people with decreased cartilage thickness are more likely to be deficient in vitamin D. So it goes two ways. Um, also, you want to check my video that I made on vitamin D to know exactly how much of this vitamin you need and how to get sufficient levels of it um, throughout the year depending on your skin color and the location where you live. And if you do take um, um, vitamin D3 supplements, don't forget to get to take them together with vitamin K, um, which I talk about in the video on vitamin D. So to conclude, specific foods consumed regularly as part of your diet can improve joint health and prevent natural degradation, prevent probably um, the need for surgery in later years, um, in, thereby increasing your quality of life um, in the long haul. And you can achieve this by eating foods um, and taking the supplements that I mentioned in this video.